Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite artists. Um, some of you may be fans of his music and some of you may just know him through social media and because of his baby mom and his past relationship. His name is Jock Berman Webster II, also known as La Flame and Cactus Jack, but everyone knows him as Travis Scott. Uh, Travis Scott is a Houston based rapster, rapper, he grew up there, was born there. Um, he got his name, his stage name, Travis Scott, from his two favorite people, his uncle Travis, which in 2014, talks, he told Grantland that his uncle Travis was his favorite relative and his favorite uncle and his entire family. So he got Travis from there, and then he got Scott from his favorite artist and, somewhat, and an artist that influenced him to be the artist he is today, which is Kid Cudi. But his real name is Scott Maskety, so that's how he got became Travis Scott. Um, Travis Scott was born on April 30th, 1992 in Houston, Texas. From ages 1 through 6 years old, he lived with his grandmother in South Park, Houston, which is located in South Central Houston. And he, he talks about in an interview about how it was in the ghetto, so he would see a bunch of crazy homeless people on drugs um so he he's always he always wanted to be, get, get out of that area um he moved to missouri city a middle class suburban area boarding southwest houston to live with his parents wanda webster and jock webster senior and later on he would get he would have two younger siblings that are twins named joshua and jordan webster um, Travis Scott attended Elkins High School and graduated at 17. Then he attended the University of Texas at San Jose, at, no, San, sorry, at San Antonio before dropping out his second year to fully, to fully pursue his music career. Um, he found a duo, he formed a duo with his longtime best friend, Chris Holloway. Known as, known as the Graduates, which was only which is his first group into a step into serious music. Um, in two thousand eight, they released their untitled EP on social networking website MySpace. Um, the following year, Travis Scott and OG Chase, which was his friend, or OG Chess, which was his friend and his schoolmate, formed the group The Classmates. So that was his second group um they released two projects called uh with buddy rich in 2009 and cruising usa in 2010. after leaving the college scott moved from houston to washington heights in new york where scott began working with mike wax who owned his own who owned the music website ill roots after moving to new york scott slept on the floor at his friend's house and he, he lived there for a while, but he had to leave because he was not feeling inspiration to be in his, to pursue his own music. So he ended up moving back to, he went to Los Angeles, California, actually, after only four months in New York, because he wasn't finding any inspiration there. In LA, he was abandoned by his friend who had promised to help him by providing housing. So and his parents cut him off financially and he eventually had to relocate back to Houston but his parents weren't so caring back at that point where that led him to be kicked out of the house uh Webster ended up moving back to LA again and begun and slept on another one of his friends couches who studied at University University of Southern California while he was in LA TI uh, ended up listening to one of his productions called Lights and in, in LA, while he was in LA, TI's representative actually reached out to Travis Scott to for a studio meeting. And in 2012, Travis Scott signed his first major label deal with Epic Records before eventually signing to Kanye West's uh, record label Good Music Productions wing, known as Very Good Beats. And in April 2013, it was announced that he signed a recording contract with TI's Grand Hustle import, imprint. From there, he released his first solo project named Al Faro 
on April 23rd, 2013. And that was just the start of his career. From there, he released, it was Owl Pharaoh, The Idol for Rodeo, Rodeo, Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight. He released a duo project with Quavo, which is one of the Migos, which is Honcho Jack, Jack Honcho. And he released um, his last, um, his last album, I believe in 2018, was Astro Road. And um, I know I showed this on my last one, but I have the vinyl right here, Astro Road. Um, he got his nickname, Cactus Jack, from Houston WWE star Mick Foley. And at the time, Travis Scott was trying to trademark it into his name, but there was obviously legal issues, and he had to go through a whole process to make it his trade so Travis Scott can trademark his as his name and ended up winning and got and was able to trademark it and built a whole record company around it and it was called Cactus Jack Records and he signed his friends to the record label and they're known as the Jack Boys and he they actually released an album together and all the Jack Boys that are in it or that are signed to it are Sheck West, Don Tolliver, Chase B and Luxury Tax and Travis Scott knew them from Houston, New York and just everywhere. Um in 2017 Kylie and Travis Scott decided uh started dating and just a year into dating in February 1st, 2018, their daughter Stormy Webster was born. Astro and then he released Astro that same year in 2018 and then he decided to make a whole festival around it Astro Road Fest that was right across the street from the original Astro Road site and Astro Road you, you'll hear me saying Astro Road a lot because Travis Scott was a huge fan of Astro Road Six Flags Astro Road when he was a young kid that was his favorite amusement park but they had to take it down for some reason I, I think it was because it was getting enough business but they had to tear it down so Travis Scott was really hurt so he wanted to bring that idea back to life from his young self to make it into an album and a whole brand and everything. Um, he made that in, eight, in 2018 and then it was a big success. It was inaugural, so it would be happening yearly in the same area, in the same spot. But in 2019, a year later, Stormy is now one, his daughter, and Kylie and Travis got break up for they came out into the news saying because of stress and trust issues, but people were saying that Travis Scott cheated on Kylie Jenner, but he came out quickly to say that that was not true. He shut that down on Instagram and Twitter saying it was not true. That everything was kind of going bad at that time, but at the same time it was actually going good because Travis Scott d then performed at the Super Bowl with Adam Levine and Big Boy. And But his album, Astro, was nominated for album of the year best rap album of the year for the grammys and then was cheated out of it by cardi b all, his, all the fans are still mad about that but another good thing that was happening was he was trying to build up his brand he was trying to make his name bigger and bigger than it already was and started with shoes he has a total of 14 uh 14 pairs of shoes all he that he has released all with nike and most of those shoes are Jordans 1s, Jordan 4s, 11s, and 2s. Um, yeah, and from there, he's been having all these collaborations. And back in March, in the beginning of March of 2020, he had a collaboration with Fortnite, the video game, to have a live concert. Um, he also had a Reese's Puff collaboration that I purchased. And this one was unopened that I'm keeping. Um, he had a Reese's Puff collaboration, and then he recently had the Travis Scott burger at McDonald's. So he is still continuing to making music. He's still making his clothing line, his clothing brand, and he has announced that he's releasing his new album. He hasn't announced when. He just announced the name of it, and it will. Be, it's titled Utopia, and the last song he made was Franchise which is where this shirt, it was a um, a promotional shirt from Franchise, the shirt, the song. And in it, he wrote a note and puts it on Twitter saying, see you in Utopia, which is basically announcing and confirming his next album. But we do not know yet, so when officially it would be out, but it's gonna be sometime this year. Yeah.
thank you.